Hey there guys, what I'm going to show you how to do is, today is tether a phone to a computer. What this allows you to do is, let's say you've got a MacBook, or it could be a Windows one, but I'm going to do this on the Mac. you got a MacBook, you're out, you're on the road, and you don't have Wi-Fi, obviously, because you're on the road. You're driving past houses, and you're driving, let's say, yeah. You're driving and there is no possibility that you have internet, but you have a cell phone and you have a plan where you have unlimited access to the, in the cell phone internet. Now, the screen on here is pretty tiny, so you obviously don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is allow this phone's internet to be transferred to this um, iMac right here. Um, just think of it as this is a laptop. So the first thing you got to do is enable Bluetooth on your phone. This is an LG rumor. To do this, hit center. You get your go down to settings and tools or push nine, then go to tools or push two, and then go to Bluetooth or push six, and hit settings, and it will tell you, hey, Bluetooth isn't enabled. Would you like to enable it? Hit yes, and then it will bring you to this page. Um, turn the visibility, click visibility number two, and set that to always visible, and make sure Bluetooth is obviously on. That's all you got to do. Then close out. Now, on your, on your Mac, go to System Preferences, System Preferences, okay, it's going to whip that up, go over to Network, Loading Network, I'll delete my phone right now, okay, I'm going to click the little plus symbol, the Bluetooth, it's Bluetooth, D-U-N, and name this LG, it's an LG phone, it doesn't matter what you name it, hit Create, then click LG over here in the sidebar, the configuration, add a configuration, call it, or actually, sorry, you don't have to add a configuration, hit cancel. The telephone number is pound 777. If you're with Sprint or Bell, I found this out. Um, try it with yours, see if it works. I just know that that's what it is, because I found that online. Your account name is the same one you use when you're logging into the website to access your bill information and stuff like this. So mine's JohnTab and my password is secret. And don't hit connect, but hit set up Bluetooth device. Now turn your phone on so it's off the lock screen. Um, keep hitting back so it's illuminated. You'll see the phone pop up. Hit continue. I've already got it paired. You just heard my phone. Um, hit accept, and now type that code. 058072110. Enter. It says pairing successful. Save the presets. Hit save, and then you can close out. Go home. Uh, keep hitting back, and like keep your screen illuminated until this one over here finishes. There we go. It'll pop up and ask you for permission. Hit deny. You don't need to do that. Good. Now you can set your phone down. The phone vendor. If your vendor's there, select it. Mine isn't. I'm with Bell or Solo. They aren't there, so just hit generic. The phone model is dial-up device. And your username and the password again. And the phone number being your phone number. I'm not going to let you guys see that. Sorry. So start it with your area code and then hit continue. Here we got this, and then hit continue at the bottom. Good. And I'll say pairing was successful. Access the internet and use use to transfer files. Hit quit. Now on your phone itself, you can turn it on or look at the screen and hit connect. Apply, and you'll see on the phone it'll go blank. Oh, there we go wait for it. Good. And it says you're connected as a modem data to data modem to iMac because that's what it's called. We see there sent and received packets are going. So you, now you can set your phone down. And for proof that I'm not connected, you see I'm not connected in Ethernet, FireWire, and I'm going to turn the airport off. So now I'm not connected but anything but my phone. So now it says I, I even have an IP address it gives me. Let's go try the internet. You're going to notice it's dra drastically Dramat dramatically slower. Let's go to, I hate Twitter, but I know the, this page is decent. Look how long this is taking. Okay, so it's, it's fair. I'm going to sign in. Yeah, it should remember me. Don't load. Okay. <laughs> 
So in a couple of minutes, this should finally load. <laughs> but let's say there was something really critical that you had to find on Google while you're traveling. You can do that, like how to bake a cake in the desert. Because you have to bake that cake in the desert or you're screwed. So you can let that load. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. So how to bake a cake in the desert? <laughs> I'm laughing at how slow it is. Okay, so so chocolate cake in five minutes it has the word desert in it. Anyways, you get the point. And then up here on your phone, actually, if you try to end the connection on your phone, you'll get an error on the phone saying you can't. Go to the thingy again, hit disconnect, and your phone will automatically disconnect for you. It did this last time and I had to pop the battery on my phone. It was really annoying. There we go, now it disconnected. Alright, and you're free on your phone again. So now I'm not connected here, and I'm going to show you I've done nothing. We're going to refresh this page. See, I get an error. So we were really going through the phone. So I'll turn the airport back on, so I'm connected to Wi-Fi. You see how much faster that loads. <laughs> So that is how to successfully tether your phone to your computer. Now that was an LG rumor. You might have a different model of phone. Try stuff out. Comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if it works for you. Tell me how you might use this. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.